Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Nisi here, if this is your very first time. Welcome to the Nisi fam. We we'll love to see you every time that I post. So after this video, if you love what you see, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, also make sure that I hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos when I post. If this is not your very first time, as always, thank you so much and welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to do a colorful summer look whilst I tell you guys the reason why I went back to school. So if you guys are interested in this video, I need you to stay tuned. And I am going to prime with my YSL Touch Eclat Blur Primer. Hope I did justice to the French pronunciation. So today's foundation I'm using NYX can't stop one stop foundation I am gonna show you guys this one this is how it's supposed to look but I am gonna use the shade uh, mocha hopefully I still have some in because this foundation is old so as many of you already know I am currently pursuing pharmacy but <laughs> um it took me a while to get to where i am right now and today i felt like if i am gonna be more open and just basically more open with you guys on this channel as i mentioned in my last video that i wanted to show you guys a lot more side of me I felt like it is only right to tell you guys this story about my school and my journey so if you haven't seen that video it will be up here in the cards so make sure that you check it out or at the end of the video I'll also leave it in the um, on the screen okay so we're gonna contour with the Fenty Beauty contour stick this shade is espresso and then concealer to highlight will be my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This shade is NC50. Actually, shade NC45, not NC50. Okay, so schooling actually started for me. Um, I will just give you a little background from Ghana where uh, I had my high school and two years of college in Ghana before coming here to the United States and uh, I would say so in Ghana when you go to high school that is where you actually start with your major like if you want to be in the sciences you start to go to the science section of high school where they call you a science student so all the um, the classes that you take which will be your elective classes, which is kind of opposite here in the United States where your elective classes are like your minor classes. So these are your major classes in Ghana. So I took the sciences. I took biology, chemistry, math, um, more of like calculus-based math, beginner cal calculus-based math, algebra, and those classes. So after that, I graduated and then I went into college. I didn't get into the program that I really wanted to, which was pharmacy, but I got into natural resource management, which is more of like, um, like forestry. You can go into forestry, meteorology, meteorology, yes more of like your environmental sciences okay so like if it was in the united states you could work with the usda like the government agencies so um uh you could work with wildlife that was also uh, a division that you could major but in two years god had different plans for me which 
it's another story for another video and I came to the United States and um, that was where my the changes the major changes in my life began when I came to the United States I immediately registered to go to school at Xavier University as um well when I first came here I had to register as an international student so I registered there and started school now all of you know that I mean if you live in the United States Xavier is a very expensive school it's a private college so uh, it's basically like double uh, the um, non-private schools so I would say uh, my tuition was quite a lot but um, they had a program where you write an exam and then you get like an international student scholarship and your girl wrote and I passed like kapow <laughs> so I was given a grant and they did a, this little article in this little newsletter for the school about my score about my story coming to the United States in what two months writing this exam passing blah 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 so I was placed but then it did not cover every little thing that I had every school expense remember I still had to pay for my board um, living and everything so I had to still work so I started working at crazy enough the company that I am still with I started working there and they wouldn't work with my hours then you know I'm in school I was on second shift and I wasn't able to get things done so after some time basically long story short I couldn't make up like finances were really hard even though I had that scholarship it was still not enough to take care of my room and board and feeding and health insurance and everything so I basically had to drop out and uh, waited fast forward a few more years I uh, I decided to go back I went into a college after I had my son registered and everything but you know what guys I wanted to get into the nursing program okay and this is one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys if God tells you that you need to get into this don't compromise and don't take shortcuts okay this is absolutely not to um, make little the nursing career it is very I mean we need nurses nurses are really important in healthcare okay so this is just my story registered for nursing and I knew in my gut that if I became a nurse I was probably doing it for the money it wasn't for being close to the patients the touchy like being all into like being so close to patients and touching them that, that is not me okay so I registered for nursing uh, went to take the uh, exam uh, they, they had me take this exam okay and somehow I passed so they put me in the nursing program but then they were like there are some classes that you still have to take so that you can get into the actual start uh, getting in start the actual nursing thing so I um, I got into it and everything now guys listen this is how God works okay the day that I was going for the orientation to start school <sighs> and mind you I was still working at this place where they would not work with my hours so I either had to like drop out like quit working and do just school and live on student loans or uh, not go to school but then something else happened found out the day that I went for my um oh okay I take this back so by the time that I had done the exam and school had started in August, around August 19th before school started, a position was opened at my company. Really good pay, okay? 
was an upgrade. Usually you need a college degree to get into that. It was in the accounting department. But because I had worked with them so closely, I knew almost everything involved, okay? So I applied for it. And I remember when I applied for it, a lot of people also had applied, okay? I mean, the general manager's uh, father-in-law had even applied for this position. And I said a prayer. I told God that, God, if you need me to get this position, if you need me to get this position, God, if you think it's going to be good for me, let me get it. If it is not, let me not get it. And meanwhile, I was still uh, registered for school, okay? So I got into what you call it. I The position came, everything went over, and they ended up giving me the position, okay? So you know it was God. And then a week before I had started, no, a week, yeah, a week before I had started, I went to an orient, no, 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 it wasn't a week before. I had already started the position. I took a day off, I think. And this is a really big position with really good pay. The same as you would work as a nurse, how much you make in a year. So think about that. So I went to, uh, I took a day off to go to uh, orientation for school. Even though I've had this big position, I went for an orientation for school. And guys, that day, as soon as I got there, I started feeling so weird. I'm telling you guys, the weirdest feeling ever. And then I started throwing up. <laughs> Ooh, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Guys, I started throwing up everywhere. I couldn't even sit for the through the first um, through the first session of the orientation. I went home. I went home and I went straight to bed. I'm like, why am I feeling this way? Mind you, I just had a kid. The kid is just turned one, okay? Went to, I'm um, like, let me try a pregnancy test. I did it, boom, pregnant. I'm like, oh, God, guys. I, I was like, God, is this a sign? Like, what is going on, okay? So, long story short, I didn't go. Even though I got into this nursing thing, I did not go. Fast forward years later, okay? And this, my uh, my second was old enough. I didn't have to, I mean, my kids are older. I'm like, I have to, I have a boy and a girl. So can we go back to school now? <laughs> Meanwhile, being in this position for a while, things are looking really good. So like, I've had like several raises. So technically, you would not want to move on, okay? You would not want to move on with this um, because you're making really good money. And then, I was having some issues and I cannot say this on camera right now because it is quite, I mean, it's quite personal and it has some really... I mean, there's a lot of people involved, so I cannot say it. And I had to, so I've been praying to God to fix this situation, okay? Praying to God all the time. Father God, I need you to fix this situation. And guys, it was so clear, okay? So clear. Battling this situation. This situation is really serious. I'm battling this situation and God tells me, you need to go back to school. I'm like, school has nothing to do with this situation. God said, yep, you need to go back to school. And I was not the only one who heard this voice. My dad also called me from Ghana. And he's like, we were praying one time and God gave us this revelation that you need to go back to school. So this was like a confirmation of what I had heard. So basically, I just went back to school, registered, and this time I was a manager, so they would work with me. I had been for the, with this company for so many years, so due to my work ethic, I'll go to work during the day, get off around 2.30, go to school, come home around 10 p.m., okay? This was what I did 
for um and at that time pharmacy prerequisites you only needed like two years and then you should be done and then you can apply for pharmacy school okay first year was done and and I wanted to take my time I didn't want to rush the situation so I took the classes um, like I would take like three classes per semester so it was taking me quite longer now in the middle of me taking all these classes they switched the curriculum for the requirements in pharmacy school so I had to, it, it it went from two years to three years now uh, my second year in my undergrad ah, went to school started feeling sick again okay at this time it was around I think it was around December it was around December okay school was out I take that back school was out and then I started feeling sick I'm like this weird feeling and guys found out I was pregnant again I was like oh no guys honestly this time I cried I'm like no way I don't care if I have to crawl to class, I am completing this. I'm not stopping, okay? I am going to school and I am gonna get into pharmacy school. So with my pregnancy, long story short, I took calculus, I took uh, chemistry too. I, I took all these classes with pregnancy and full-time work. Now that's determination, okay? So I took all these classes um, and there's this big exam that you have to write for pharmacy school before you can get into pharmacy school. So basically pharmacy school is like medical school. You have to do all your sciences um, and I'm going to do a video actually about what if you want to get into pharmacy school, what classes to take, what things to do, how to prepare and how to like ace your PCAT. So somehow I hadn't done most of the classes that was like but my very first year I hadn't done most of the classes but I just registered for the PCAT I mean I hadn't done organic chemistry didn't know anything about it wrote the PCAT and I passed but then I wrote it early so that I would be sure that's the Virgo in me so that I'll be sure that um, I was getting in you know I wasn't spending all this money in tuition and getting all these um wasting all this time just to end up not going so i made sure that the most important part which was my pcat i had passed it so most of the people that i was in class with they are in the, like they're a year ahead of me now because we took our pcat at the same time and i just decided to wait a year before going to uh, pharmacy school so long story short all that happened passed my PCAT, applied for UC Pharmacy, and I got in, okay? I got in, and that is what we're doing now. Now, this is just a summary. I didn't even go into details of the hardships in my pregnancy uh, and different things that I had to do, okay? This is just like uh, a glimpse of just a snapshot of what happened but in all I would say it was all about God like you have to live in your purpose and you have to hear from God I'm telling you guys sometimes hearing from God is different okay sometimes he will need you to move out in faith in what you really want to do and then he would just like put his power behind it sometimes too you literally need to hear from him so you need to have that relationship with him so that you will know exactly what to do at what time but it is all also based on your faith i am just talking from personal experience like with my experience that is just me sometimes i literally have to hear from him to move and sometimes too i just move in faith i'm like you know what whatever happens happens and that was when i was applying for that position whatever happens happens and then he um he lets he, he shows himself strong so that is basically my journey okay so this pharmacy thing that i'm doing it is not because obviously you're gonna make a whole lot of money when you graduate but the other reason too is that it's a Fame. calling 
okay it's a calling so because I'm pretty comfortable with my job I'm still there right now make pretty good money but it is a calling so just what are you guys to know more about me so as I am like telling you guys the story I'm remembering so many things that happened during my journey like I live in Cincinnati Ohio and if you live outside Ghana in a Ghanaian community you know how our people are people talk about you for no reason they hate you for no reason I remember one time someone told my sister uh, oh so you're also here and you're not gonna go to school and you're gonna um, also get pregnant and have babies they didn't mention my name but you know who they were referring to and mind you I go to church with this person okay and uh, <laughs> it's funny because this person is a nurse and uh, it's it's funny how people get into certain positions and they feel like that I mean they have arrived they have reached I don't care who you are like imagine if I was a nurse getting probably good money but then I wasn't living in my purpose so it doesn't matter what you do I don't care if you clean toilets okay if that is where God needs you to be to fulfill your purpose I feel like you have more value than an MD like that is me I try to give everybody their, their respect yeah so this is what this person said and I remember oops and I remember another person also has the comment and this girl I've not really talked to her but I don't know why she despised me so much like and honestly if you live in my area and you follow me you know that I'm like not very I would say I don't hang around people a lot okay this girl passed the comment ooh is that that is that that girl who dresses so much and walks around like she owns Cincinnati is that where she works oh wow and mind you the company that I still work with I usually don't tell people what I do there okay so people as because it's a manufacturing company people always think oh I am in the line flipping chicken or you know what I mean but at the end of the day if someone is flipping chicken as at least they're doing um, a good job like they're getting paid for what they're working for but so it, it is funny because people from the Ghanaian community come to this company and work and see like where I work and what I do and then it's like all of a sudden they turn around and like oh and honestly that's me I don't care what I have I don't show it I don't say it I mean that's just me find out yeah if you don't find out that's fine too by the way everything that I used will be in my description box so check out for that and then let's finish off with Morphe because that's what close that's what's closer All right, guys so this is it this is the end of the video hope you loved it hope you loved the story I do apologize if I went all over the place and you didn't get something or something didn't make sense usually when I'm doing makeup and telling a story I kind of my mind kind of like zooms all over the place so check the comment section I will put in anything that during editing I realized that I didn't make it clear enough I will put it in the um, comment section so make sure that you check it so I guess at the end of the day moral of the story is you have to live your life according to God's purpose or else you always find yourself confused and not satisfied and not fulfilled um, you have to walk with God to know exactly what he wants you to do sometimes you take steps out of faith sometimes he will give you clear directions it depends on how the Lord wants you to know and the other part of the story is if you don't know somebody's story please shut up 
honestly like and just not get so involved in someone's life and what somebody is doing if it doesn't concern you because you don't know their story maybe the thing that you are mocking them about maybe they're praying about it they're telling god god please take this thing away and guess what you are somewhere and mocking them about it like come on people let's be kind all right guys hope you loved it also i wanted to say that uh this is a beginning of a series of stuff that i wanted to incorporate into my channel as i told you guys in two videos ago that i was gonna do more of my lifestyle more of what i do day to day pharmacy different things this is the beginning of it so look out for videos like this thank you guys so much make sure that you share this video make sure that you like and you comment and i will see you in my next one